Hey everyone. Uh, so in this video I just want to show you how to uh, make a simple air powered sponge filter. Because uh, these filters are great for uh, fry tanks, if you want to just raise fry in a small tank. Or if you have like a very uh, small tank, um, about a 10 gallon with just a single bed of fish in it. They're great just for um, small bio loads. So um, what you're going to need is a uh, bottle, around 1 litre or so. A uh, sponge. A uh, pipe and an airline tubing and an air pump very simple so I'll just start off with the uh, bottle so this is a uh, this was a one liter bottle and what I did was just from the uh, base around um, eight inches up or so around three quarters of the way up I just chopped it and then um, with the sponge now you can get um this is an aquarium sponge but you can get them from the shops like a uh, bath sponge or just sponges for cleaning up just make sure they're aquarium safe they work very well and what you do is just get a scissors and just cut around and shape it into a circle I do it a little bit wider than the um, bottle so it just kind of fits in nice nicely so then you do just shimmy it in like so fits in perfectly and you want to make sure the little gap at the bottom so just measure it so there's like a around an inch or, inch or so just gap at the bottom and I'll show you why in a second so next is the uh, pipe. This is a PVC pipe. I just use the saw and cut it off. And it's only um, you know only a few inches above the top, so not that long. Or you can also use a plastic um, tubing as well. Either one works. And to uh, add it in the middle, you can always just you just get a knife, stab a hole, and then you can just I just shimmy it in like this, and it goes all the way down. Once you just shimmy it like that. And you can see here the pipe just kind of um, pops down the bottom where I left the space. So um, that's it. That's a uh, that's pretty much it actually. And I'll just uh, and then finally you just have to add the um, airline tubing down. And you have to make sure um, it doesn't um, pop out past the pipe. So you have to just just put it up a tiny bit. And I'll show you why in a second. Alright, so I've uh, added the sponge filter to my tank. I'll just explain now how the mechanics work behind it. So I put in my air pump, plugged it in, and I'm going to put the piping, uh, the uh, airline tubing down the top of the filter, like I showed you before. And just put it down just near the bottom of it. Don't put it past the uh, piping, the uh, PVC pipe, whatever you use, because uh, if you see bubbles coming out the sponge, then you've done it wrong. Lift it up a bit. So really what's happening here is the bubbles are coming up through this pipe and forcing water at the top. What that does, that forces water through down through the sponge into the bottom section here and up to the pipe. I'll just show you now, the water is uh, coming out the top. So pretty much the bacteria in this, uh, the, um, pretty much uh, bacteria needs uh, current and oxygen to grow, an ammonia source. So the uh, current is, the current going through the sponge is going to grow a nice uh, colony, colony for you and fill to your tank. So it's a very simple design, very easy to make. So definitely uh, give it a go if you want to, you know, set up a fry tank or a better tank or something. And I uh, hope that helped and I'll see you.